Right. But if I lose family members and I lose friends over politics, they are not really your family member and they are not really your friend. Anyway, double tap the screen. <laughs> I just feel like that needs to be talked about. Like, that's like, ugh. I don't know. People are taking it too damn far. When it comes to family, they're taking it too damn far. You really can. And it's not even just that. Like, yes, I can sit here and debate with someone over over politics, but we're sitting here having a civil debate. You know what I'm saying? We're We're debating with each other is what we're doing. Now, to go and hate on someone so bad for who they voted for, that's crazy because we all have our own opinions. <laughs> that's funny, Joy State. Right. Right. Allie. And that's who I voted for. And so what? So what? I, I'm sorry? I had to do them last night. I had to. I literally redid them last night. I had to. I just had to. But all I'm saying is if a family member wants to not speak to you anymore over politics, they are not really your family member. They are not. If a friend does not want to be your friends anymore because you voted red and they voted blue, they are not your friend anymore. That's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. And that's on period. That's on period. Hi, Taco. Hey, Taco. <laughs> Wise words from the new president. I am president of the United States. Thank you. Taco with the heart mean thank you so much. Their opinions are so petty anyways, like we got bigger issues to tackle. Right. Am I cold? Yeah. Trump 2024. Shouldn't hurt friendships. Or relationships with family at all that's what i'm saying like family is so much more than politics like my whole dad's side of the family is blue my whole mom's side is red so my my dad's side is is you know they they want me to vote blue want me to vote blue my mom's side want me to vote red want me to vote red i'm going to vote who i want to vote for i'm voting for myself at this damn point get a new mom what are you talking about but then like that side of the family got mad at me for voting who i wanted to vote for and that's so crazy to me oh my god that's so crazy to me can i vote for you yes double tap the screen i love you i voted for chicken nuggets as you should i voted on my beliefs and what I think will right because we have opinions every we all have an opinion every single person in this world not even just America has an opinion we can all vote for who we want to vote for 
and it shouldn't be this big of a fucking issue. Oh, God, you people piss me off. Politics always cycle red wins a time or two, then blue wins a time or two, right? Big Mac, your opinion does matter. Everybody's opinion matters. Taco, thank you so much for the roses. Everybody's opinion matters. It really does. We can all sit here and talk about our fucking opinions, and that's not going to make me hate you. Like, if one of my best friends voted for someone different than I voted for, oh, fucking K. Okay. Cool. I'm glad you did that. Good. Right. Didn't cry about it. I'm not gonna... Listen, this is literally... I say this all the time and everyone disagrees with me, but... I didn't at all, and the fact that you did still love you. See what I'm saying? I still love you, nasty. I love you. I don't care who you voted for, and I don't care if you didn't vote. I love you. But I say this all the time, and everybody disagrees with me. No matter who is president, I'm still going to be alive. I'm still going to be alive. I'm still going to have to live by the damn rules. I'm still going to have to... I'm still going to have to be living, no matter what. So what the fuck? I'm still going to wake up tomorrow morning and Trump is going to be our president. And, you know, maybe in the next four years we'll have a whole different president. Who fucking knows? But who? Literally, I'm still me. Hey, I'm Gabby. Nice to meet you guys. Ugh. still gonna wake up my hair still gonna be a mess my eyebrows still gonna look like shit so what's the point what's the point of crying about it wake the fuck up i own property in other countries we can go there let's go I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind it. I did vote for Trump. I really, I did. I sure did. As a gay woman, I did vote for Trump. <sighs> Eric, calm down. My God, uh, calm down. Y'all got me sweating. Well, you don't have me sweating. I have myself sweating. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, Keisha, who you voted for. Oh, I don't give a fuck. And I think the biggest thing that's just pissing me off is the whole family thing. Like, my family getting upset with me and s making them sad because I voted for who I voted for. Like, that's so crazy. That is so crazy. Gabby for president in four years. I just, you know, I just... Hi, user. Now my family tried getting to my head, but nope, not anymore. My family... Hi, user. Thank you for the heart me. My family tried to get to my head, too. Only my other side of the family. My mom's side of the family, no. But my... My dad's side of the family, yeah. And it hurt my feelings. <laughs> Can I be your vice president? Yes, of course. <laughs> I just, like, literally, they were telling me who I needed to vote for. I don't need to vote for that person if I don't want to vote for that person. It was just so crazy. How do farmers party? How? No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. And listen, we're still going to have a Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. <laughs>